Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richard Plunkett from The Gaming Show Live, and we're playing Time Crisis. Now this is a follow-up to my NES video I just had up of retro gaming. Now this is Time Crisis on the PS1 back in the day. It's one of my many favorite games on the PS1. Um, now the thing about this was... Now the thing about this, when Time Crisis was introduced to the PS1, it came with the G-Con gun. Now that was a big difference for the PlayStation back then. Now, you know, to have something physically, you know, to hold like a gun, and shoot at a screen it's just you know incredible back then like you know i spent endless hours just playing with that um you know it was possible to actually use the control but you know the gun just made it so much fluid and like you just aim point shoot whereas you know with the controller you had to sort of move your um and log stick or the direction pad towards the actual you know cursor or the what's it called the enemy and shoot them that way which you know ruined the whole fun of time crisis now, most of you would know Time Crisis from the arcade. You know, it's still big in arcade. You know, you, you get like Time Crisis 4. Um, I believe Time Crisis 5 also. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is, um, you know, T Time Crisis Project Titan, I believe. Um, yeah, they, they made heaps of these, like, you know, from Thank the PS1 sorry. back to the PS2, and then they went uh, to the PS3. Now, this is where they introduced the new G-Con gun, you which actually worked on LCD that. screens. Now, the thing with the G-Con gun is it emits light, and it bounces back and forth from the CRT TVs. Now, with LCD TVs, um, you know, it doesn't work exactly the same, so they had to find a way around this. So, by doing so, you actually had to have um, these sort of bars on top of your TVs, like on the top and on the bottom. Them. We sort of registered um, the hit markers, but worked, you know, nearly less really good. So as you can see here, the graphics are amazing, isn't it? Obviously, that background is very still, but yeah, I just jump straight into. I just love playing this. There he is. There. Get him. So my question to you guys is, what's your favorite FPS shooter out there? Now, if you did have a choice to actually have Call of Duty, Halo, or any first person shooter using the G-Con gun or any gun really, um, would you be happy by doing so? Now the thing with that, with that question is, you know, yes it would change the gaming, you know, industry in a way because you're sort of physically holding something you're not sort of in the chair you're going to really stand up because i was sitting down while i was doing this and i was sort of you know i just had to stand up um just to get you know you know the shooting and the you know the pistol but the thing was you know it's static you're just standing there basically you know pop around the corner shoot 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 reload pop around the corner shoot 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 reload and that's about it now the thing with now you know the latest fps shooters is that you're moving right and that's something that the move has sort of incorporated lately in their SOCOM games that you know that you've got the move to shoot but also you've got the analog sticks to move also now that's also a good thing now I'm not too sure I can't remember exactly because I believe the G-Con, uh, one of the latest G-Con guns actually had a built-in analog stick which enabled you to move now you know that would you know be difficult in a way i mean i can't really say because i haven't really played around with it but um i'm sure i've seen it somewhere but the thing is now with the move you've got you know your just say i forgot what they're called um basically you know you shoot at it and then also you got your analog stick to move around and other hot key buttons now that works and a lot of people actually enjoyed using that and they also incorporated like a gun add-on which sort of gave that you know actual you know one-to-one -one scale of actual gun um, and people said yeah it worked but then again it's also a big jump from you know the sitting back on the couch and just you know relaxing with the controller now with the connect I'm not too sure I think I've seen some Ghost Recon videos lately on them actually using the Kinect. Now the Kinect is, you know, no wires, no control, no nothing basically. Yeah, you know, you, you, it captures your body and your expressions and so forth. Now the thing is, oh, I'm trying to think. Yes, maybe you could make it work, but 
personally, I don't think it'll work for, you know, Halo or Call of Duty or Battlefield or anything like that. Like, probably, maybe if you push it, but it's going to be a lot of things happening and, you know, that would have to counter for graphics and then also this thing happening in the background of you running in one spot or you, you know, having your hands up in the air. It's sort of like a controller. You know, some people prefer to actually have something physically in their hands rather than touching things, you know. Uh, waving a hand around, it does that action. Waving this around, it does that action. You know, you know everyone's all different, but what do you think? Um, do you think, you know, first-person shooter games would go down this route? Or would it just stay in arcade games? You know, just to start, because, you know, if you go in arcade, you're always going to have a physical gun to actually hold and play. You're never going to have a controller. In any arcade place I've gone, I've never seen a controller. Um, and that goes from first-person shooters, any shooter games, or even racing games. It's just because, you know, they try to immerse you more into the feel of the game. It doesn't matter, even if they had this time crisis, people still will play it because you actually get to feel a gun. Um, not a real gun, but, you know what I mean, a plastic, the less. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, that's about it from Tycra, so I really enjoyed this, I'm going to continue playing this, um, you can watch the rest of this video, and yeah, answer your question down below, I'll respond to that, and I'll catch you guys next week, see you later.